the 134th annual commencement exercises of Wagner College will open with America the Beautiful. Please join the vocal ensemble as they lead us in singing America the Beautiful and the Star Spangled Banner. We ask that you remain standing until after the invocation by Rabbi and Professor Abe Anger. Genesis recounts that, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. However one approaches one's God, or the spirit within one that reaches out for the ineffable, the place where language can't quite go, we acknowledge here today the wonder of this moment. We acknowledge our faculty, our administration, our staff, our trustees, and most of all, our students and their loving families, who all together represents something we can't quite pinpoint with mere human language, but we know it when we see it, community. We are a community, and for those graduating today, you are part of a lifelong community carried practically in your diplomas and achievements and spiritually in your hearts and minds. All of our varied and wondrous scriptures tell of creation in one way or another. Today, too, is a moment in the ever-unfolding story of the creation of each of us here as individuals and together as members of the Wagner College community, let the ceremonies begin. Please be seated.
Welcome to the 134th commencement exercises of Wagner College. Thank you, Dr. Aladdin, for leading us as the faculty marshal. Thank you, Dr. Kalber, for your special role that you will play in this commencement in reading the citations. Today, your procession was led by 11 Golden Seahawks, Bob Belvin, Paul Forcelli, Ann Giordano, Margaret Cole Harriman, Marilyn Dobbin Kanelski, Nicholas Rossos, Karen Brown Stevenson, Phil Straneri, Thomas Thurston, and Randall Webb. Class of 1969, they took, they took the same steps that you took today 50 years ago. Let's congratulate them. This is a special one for all of you and, all, and for Karen and myself. It's the one we're going to do together. So I'm so proud of all of you, and we have lots of remarks. We've shortened the ceremony, so I know it gets a little edgy as people will read all the names. I have called upon Game of Thrones and the Targaryen, <laughs> the Targaryens are coming. With, they're flying overhead. If you leave before all the names are left, they're coming down on you. So stay in your seats. <laughs> Congratulations to all the graduates. I welcome all of your parents and families and friends, distinguished guests and members of our community. And we have some special supporters with us today who provided so many resources for you in scholarships and monies for programs and funds and just general leadership for the college. And I'd like to recognize them today on our stage. Uh, they are Dr. Warren Prochi, class of 68, our chair of our board of trustees, Stephen Aiello, Lisa Bennett, class of 1985, Mary Cara Kappa, class of 1982, parent of Anthony Hurtado, who graduated in, in 2017, Andrew Cortez, class of 72, Dr. Aletta Diamond, class of 65, an honorary in 15, Ralph Green, Jr., parent of Ralph Green III, who graduated in 15 and an MBA in 17, Eric Hauser, Dr. Seymour Lachman, Mark Lebovitz from the class of 1991, Richard Morgan, parent of Richard C. Morgan, class of 12, who, by the way, just finished medical school, and no Joan Nicholas, daughter of Mike and Margaret Nicholas from the class of 49, Lorraine McNeil Popper from the class of 1978, Diane Powers, parents of both Douglas Powers from class of 2000, and Brian Powers from class of 07 and Masters in 08, Bill Renshaw and Dr. Maureen Robinson from the class of 67 and Honor in 03. Welcome all. They've been your greatest supporters. I would like to recognize Nicholas S. Buta as this year's winner of the Donald W. Spiro Award for Outstanding Academic and Co-Curricular Achievements. Don't go in. Nick was given the highest award we give for a Wagner College student. That's the Spiro Award in honor of Dr. Donald Spiro. If you know, we have the two buildings and the Nicholas School, Nicholas Sp uh, the Nicholas School, the Evelyn Spiro School of Nursing. It could be the Nicholas Buddha School. You never know in the future. But Nick is just a fabulous person. Congratulate him for winning this award. I have the pleasure of introducing our two student speakers. I'll ask them to come up to the podium together, Kenya Z. Hyman and Daniel S. Smith. Both won an oratory competition to speak for the class of 2019. Kenya, who is graduating with a degree in business management, has been a member of the college's track and field team, as well as the Women's Professional Network, <clears throat> the Women of Color Dialogue Circle, and the Black Student Union. She has completed two internships with Intact Insurance, and one in personal lines, and one in accident benefits. Daniel Smith, a public policy and administration major, has been a leader in the IRS Alliance, an LGBTQ student organization, and Exceeding Our Expectations, a campus disability advocacy organization, as well as serving as our guest director for the Completely Student Productions and student-run musical theater. He has, <laughs> he has served five internships throughout his Wagner career. 
with Richmond County DA's office, the de Blasio re-election campaign, the Wagner College Holocaust Center, the Long Island Crisis Center, and Gay Men's Health Crisis. Welcome them both and honor their speeches. Hello, everyone. Hi, Kayla. <laughs> All right. My name is Kenya, and I am overwhelmed with pride for what this day represents and honored to be speaking here today. I wanted to start with a heartfelt thank you to President Garassi, who is standing on this stage for his last time as the president of Wagner College. Round of applause for Garassi. To our board of trustees, the administration, faculty, and alumni, all who have shaped me into the young, educated woman that I am today. To my fellow members of the class of 2019, who have struggled in the same ways that I have, to say that we finally have that degree. And finally, a special thanks to all the parents, friends, and loved ones who made it all possible. Before attending Wagner College, I was often thrust into positions of leadership that I would not have pushed myself into on my own. The talent and desire to make a change was there, but the confidence was not. And as many of my fellow graduates have experienced themselves, I was reluctant to try things outside of my comfort zone. Coming to Wagner as a freshman, I remember looking up to the seniors and idolizing them, hoping that I could make a difference one day in the same way that they did for me. I saw seniors who were going out into the city and working their dream jobs. I know of others who studied nursing while they served as active club members who were still able to graduate cum laude. Many people around me pushed me to become more involved on campus and to help make a positive change that they knew I could be a part of. I have helped to host events and meet with guest speakers, all because administrators had nominee, nominated me to do so, something that forced me to gain the courage I was not too sure I had. As a member of multiple minority groups, I soon found myself working confidently to be engaged interculturally so that those around me could be inspired to do the same. Soon enough, I became that senior with a horde of freshmen asking for advice and questioning how I was able to do everything that I do on this campus and still get a sufficient amount of sleep. But it's not just me. I've proudly watched over my fellow students over the years and we have all grown so much in terms of personal development, civic engagement, and academic achievement. They have become executive board members of their respective clubs, resident assistants, tutors, and team captains. Many have become brothers and sisters of nationally recognized fraternities and sororities. The people that started this journey have only become more proficient, bright, and independent versions of themselves. And so, what will come next? Some people here today will start their careers and others will start working towards getting another degree. We have all made an impact in the lives of those that we are leaving behind and we are starting a new adventure. I had the opportunity to go on the alternative winter break trip to Kenya in January with other Wagner College students. And while we were there, we described our work as adding a drop in the bucket. Traditionally, this idiom refers to a person's efforts as a very small and insignificant portion of the whole. While in Kenya, however, we use the idiom in a positive manner to mean that every small drop we added to the bucket was another impactful step in the right direction. So, let's take that wisdom from those that have invested their time into getting us here on this stage today. Pair that with the knowledge that we have gained academically and socially and use it to add our own drops of water to fill that bucket. To the class of 2019, it is with great honor that I encourage you to keep thriving and make positive changes in the world. Thank you so much for allowing me to speak here on this monumental day in our lives, and congratulations to us all. to the races. <laughs> Here we go. I think that's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, one more time for Kenya Hyman. <laughs> Fantastic. 
Only a couple of minutes ago, I heard the RA duty phone ring, and <laughs> I think I lost 10 years on my lifespan. <laughs> Good morning, President Karasi, the Board of Trustees, and our beloved administration, faculty, and alumni. And I want to wish a very special good morning to all of my fellow Seahawks who are now and forever a part of the Wagner College legacy. Ours, ours is a community that is made up of teammates, cast members, and peers from many different walks of life that are bound together by a common drive to be supported and to, be, to, to support and be supported. How many of us haven't had an ugly cry session in our friend's dorm? Who didn't text the friend group chat when you passed that test you were studying all week for? And who wasn't that source of support for someone who really needed it? Whether we like to recognize it or not, we are all a credit to the Seahawk community sitting under this tent today. I will admit though, I didn't begin my experience as a Seahawk. I started off elsewhere in a conservatory style program where I ate, bre breathed, and lived my area of study 24-7. And two months in, I realized that my soul had become severely malnourished. Where was the political science course that would challenge the way I see the world? Where was the math course that would show me how other people perceive the world? By the end of my freshman fall semester, I realized that I needed to expand my horizons and pursue a strong liberal arts education. My pursuit of a well-rounded education brought me to Wagner College where the Wagner plan would provide me with a roadmap of courses that would mold me into the person I am today. Taking classes that are outside of your comfort zone and your personal interests opens your eyes to different ideas and concepts that you otherwise would have never approached. Not only that, but it drastically alters your life trajectory for the better. How many here have declared or changed a major because they took a class that left a real impact on them? How many of you are going to go into the workforce with a strong and diverse skill set that is a product of the time and energy you put into your studies? In reflecting on my time here at Wagner College, I remember the kindness, compassion, and support that this community has shown me over the past four years. I have consistently felt loved by the entire Wagner College community, and no more so than when I lost my father right before I entered my senior year. At the absolute lowest point in my life, I cannot express how much it meant to me to have an outpour of friends, professors, and administrators come from all directions to support me in my mourning. And speaking of support, I want to take this time to recognize my two greatest sources of support, mom and dad. Mom, you and dad always dreamt of putting two kids through college. You worked, struggled, and dedicated your lives to your children. I can never possibly express how much I love you both, and I only hope that everything I do moving forward will make you proud. Friends, today our community celebrates a new beginning. Today we join the ranks of generations of passionate, intelligent, and kind Seahawks. Even though we all go separate ways, we are still a community. They were not friends, they are friends. They were not once home, they are home. They did not once really love D. Hall Buffalo Cauliflower. <laughs> they will always love D. Hall Buffalo Cauliflower. We are your peers, we are your friends, this is our community, and now let's cross that stage and show the world what it means to be a Seahawk. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Warren Prochi, Chairman of the Board of Trustees here at Wagner and a graduate of the class of 1968. Thank you. Today, my great pleasure, we will honor two highly accomplished persons 
Dr. Karen Garassi, and Dr. Richard Garassi. The Robinson, the Robinson Family Professor of Religious Studies, Dr. Walter Kalber, will call them forward for citation and presentation of the awards. Dr. Prochi, I present Dr. Karen Garassi for the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa. Trustees Steve Aiello and Maureen Robinson will assist with placing the hood on the shoulders of Karen Garassi. Gracious, supportive, generous, stylish, and stately, Dr. Karen Garassi has been a cornerstone of the Wagner community for 22 years. Over those 22 years, in fact, for many years before that, Karen Garassi has been at her husband's side, resolute and supportive, and yet, Quite remarkably, over all those years, Karen Garassi has also forged a very impressive career of her own as an educator and as a professor. She is indeed equal to many, but second to none. Although receiving her BA degree from Fordham University in the area of early childhood and elementary education, Karen Garassi went on to earn no less than three master's degrees in various areas of education, counseling, and administration. Then culminating her formal education, Karen Garassi received her doctorate from the Teachers College at Columbia University in 2017. With more than 35 years of experience as a teacher and administrator, Dr. Garassi dedicates herself to inspiring, educating, and supporting children at risk and to mentoring new teachers. She has served as a New York State principal, a region-wide special education administrator, as well as a facilitator in the Teachers College at Columbia. Dr. Karen Garassi is a Wagner College professor and most notably the creator of a mentoring and professional development program for those just entering the teaching profession entitled New Educators at Wagner or NEW. Inspired by data showing that nearly 50% of all new teachers actually leave the field within the first five years Dr. Garassi created the NEW program to mentor and nurture the community's new teachers. Since NEW was established in 2009, the percentage of its graduates leaving the teaching profession has been reduced from 50 to about 10 percent. It was, in fact, research focused on results of the Wagner program that earned Karen her doctorate in education from Columbia University. In addition to her commitment to the NEW program, Dr. Garassi has shared her time and talents with various community organizations serving on the boards of Notre Dame Academy and the New World Prep Charter School. She has, in fact, received many community awards since moving to Staten Island including the Les Troutman Memorial Award for Outstanding Contribution to the People of Staten Island. Notably also in 2014, the New York State Senate at a ceremony in Albany named Karen a, quote, woman of distinction. And in 2016, the Greater New York Region of the National Organization of Italian American Women honored her as one of three outstanding wise women who have excelled in their respective professional fields. And although it has won her no honors, no citations, or public accolades, one of Karen Garassi's most notable contributions to the Wagner community has been her unfailing, unflappable support of the college's fundraising endeavors. 
the deep and enduring relationships that Karen has formed with benefactors, alumni, and friends of the college are impossible to measure. And so, it should be noted that although Richard Garassi now stands as our longest serving president, Dr. Karen Garassi will always be the first lady of Wagner College. And so, as she prepares to leave her beloved Grimes Hill and continue her career of scholarship, leadership, and service, it is indeed our great pleasure and privilege to recognize Dr. Karen Garassi by granting her the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa. You did a beautiful job. Thank you. With the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Wagner College and the laws of the State of New York, I hereby confer upon you, Karen Garassi, the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, honoris causa, and thereby declare that your name forever be inscribed, and let me repeat that, forever be inscribed on the roll of Wagner College's most esteemed alumni. Thank I should get here too, by the way. Yes. There we go. <laughs> well, thank you. Your picture's with us. Okay. How could you not love this school? There are so many wonderful people here. Thank you, Dr. Warren Croce, Wagner College trustees, faculty, staff, students, family, and friends. I am so honored to receive this degree from Wagner College and join the ranks of its esteemed alumni. I count myself lucky to have spent the last 22 years of my life with Richard at Wagner. I love so many people connected to this wonderful school. I am impressed with the many people who created a school culture where courage is more prized than comfort. I am inspired by the potential of the young adults I mentored as director of the new educators at Wagner College. Wagner College graduates are smart and caring. They possess the courage to lead a meaningful life. Visiting the hawk's nest, talking with students at our home, applauding you on stage, joining you at your athletic events, and participating in your academic celebrations gave me the opportunity to know you a little better. My travels locally, nationally, and internationally allowed me to build stronger relationships with many alumni. These experiences reveal what a wonderful world Wagner graduates have the spirit to create. At Wagner, students receive a solid educational foundation. You grow in your emotional intelligence, your resilience, your grit. You learn about yourselves and your feelings. You learn the importance of personal happiness, of creating dreams, and never settling for anything less than fulfilling those dreams. Graduating today is Aman Metwali, Aman was the undergraduate speaker at last year's commencement ceremony. Aman is reaching her academic goals by, and overcoming challenges by writing her master's thesis on the role of mentoring of first year teachers. Aman came to me for assistance in conducting her research and writing her master's thesis. She was smart enough to first read my entire doctoral dissertation I wrote at Columbia University on this very topic. Doing this enabled Daman and I to engage in a substantive, enjoyable conversation where I witnessed Daman's determination to excel as an early childhood teacher, 
I was grateful for this experience. In the time I have spent with you, I have noticed how Wagner students become more sensitive to the feelings of others. You learn to bring out the best in your friends and classmates. These gifts will serve you well in your lives and your careers. Wagner College students are proactive. You have faced many challenges during your studies. With mentoring and coaching from your professors, friends and others who have helped you, you've overcome these stumbling blocks, arriving at effective solutions. The story of two Wagner graduates and current new educated at Wagner participants stand out. Ashley Sinodinus and Alessandra DeMeo teach children with mental health histories. Both invite children's parents into their classroom during the day and after school so the parents can learn what their children are learning. Research indicates that personal involvement is often missing in, and a missing ingredient in children's success. Allie and Ashley's efforts value their students' parents as their first crucial teachers. Wagner students also have grit, staying focused on accomplishing their goals as evidenced by your presence here today. One example is Natalie Caton, an outstanding water polo player who lost her home in the California fires last November, but returned to complete her studies in English literature. We happily celebrate Natalie's graduation today along with all of yours. After Richard and I leave Wagner, I know that we will be continued to be touched by the memories of the wonderful experiences we have had here and of the wonderful people with whom we have spent time. And in the future, when we serendipitously encounter Wagner graduates working in hospitals, schools, businesses, and other professions, we will treasure these experiences too. Not long ago, my son, Patrick, asked me, how do we know we have lived a meaningful life? I replied, you won't know until you are much older and look back on your life, but you must set out to try. I am old enough now to reflect on my life at Wagner and can, without any doubt, say that my life here has been a life well lived. And I hope that many years from now, you too will feel that you have achieved a life well lived and that your courageous path toward that life began with the steps you took here at Wagner College. For these reasons and many more, I know that whenever I hear our alma mater from now on, I will smile, smile appreciatively, especially at the last two lines, for Wagner will forever be deep in our memory. Thank you. Dr. Proci, I present Dr. Richard Garassi. Trustees Andy Cortez and Joan Nicholas will assist with placing the hood on the shoulders of Dr. Richard Garassi. Born in Brooklyn, New York, Richard Garassi rose to become a nationally recognized educator and the longest serving president of Wagner College. After earning a bachelor's degree in economics at Fordham University, Richard Garassi went on to receive a master's degree in economics from Indiana University, as well as a PhD in political science from the same institution. Then, during his early years as a professor at St. Lawrence University, Richard began to distinguish himself as a pioneer in economic innovation and academic pioneering, leading a group of scholars that created that university's freshman program. 
Then, after serving as dean of Hobart College in Geneva, New York, Richard returned to the Big Apple in 1997, having been appointed academic vice president here at Wagner. Already during his first year here, Richard guided an enthusiastic group of faculty in the creation of now what is known nationally and applauded nationally as the Wagner Plan for the Practical Liberal Arts. It was only five years later, in 2002, that Richard became the 18th president of Wagner College. Since becoming president, Dr. Garassi, in addition to his other achievements, has grown our endowment from $4 million to around $92 million. Richard Garassi... Richard Garassi also strengthened our ties to the surrounding community. In 2009, he initiated a partnership between Wagner College and a coalition of businesses, schools, churches, and nonprofits in the nearby neighborhood of Port Richmond, a partnership that has successfully addressed significant challenges within that community while also enhancing student learning and raising civic awareness here at Wagner. But Dr. Garassi has not only been a leader at Wagner College, he has also been a national leader in the community of higher education, holding an impressive array of key leadership roles in nationally recognized academic bodies. Significantly, he currently serves as board chairman of the prestigious Association of American Colleges and Universities. But to simply list the accomplishments of Richard Garassi or to chronicle the honors he has received would fail to capture the true qualities of the man as a caring mentor, an understanding colleague, and a respected leader. One example here must suffice. The sky was luminescent blue that morning of September 11, 2001. The freshmen in Harborview Hall had been at Wagner for less than two weeks. At 8.46 a.m., smoke began to rise from the World Trade Center across New York Harbor. A jet plane had crashed into the North Tower. Students in Harborview began looking out their windows toward the city. They watched in shock as a second jetliner hit the South Tower. At 9.03, the South Tower, Tower collapsed and at 9.59, the North Tower fell into rubble. New York City was in lockdown. Wagner College was locked down. People, students, couldn't leave, couldn't go home. It was not long after when Richard went over to Harborview and with two other administrators went to every room to make sure that our newly minted freshmen were okay. Richard set a calming tone, and soon many of the students, rather than being alarmed, wanted to know how they could help in the face of such tragedy. The campus pulled together impressively. Richard had helped turn a tragedy into an opportunity for service, for bonding, for community. It was then that Richard set an example, as he has so often since, set an example for so many of our students, set an example for action, for caring, for leadership. And so now, before he concludes his presidency next month, it is our privilege, our pleasure, our honor to recognize Richard Garassi, the longest serving president in Wagner College history, with the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, honoris causa. Another very, very pleasurable task. With the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Wagner College and the laws of the State of New York, I hereby confer upon you, Richard Garassi, the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa, and thereby declare that your name forever be inscribed, and I'll emphasize that again, forever be inscribed on the role of Wagner College's most esteemed alumni.
Thank you, Dr. Prochi, and thank you to the Board of Trustees. I am truly, truly deeply honored to receive this recognition. As you know, for the past 22 years, Wagner College has had my heart and my mind. This is such a very special community and a special place as witnessed the two wonderful speeches of our students, and it means the world to me to become a permanent part of the wonderful alumni of this college. As importantly, it means so much to me to be included with all of you in the class of 2019. I know many of you personally, and I'm quite confident that you're going to achieve many milestones in your careers. And many of you will receive honors similar to this one that I'm so humbled to be awarded today. I have great faith in your generation to produce a substantial number of outstanding leaders, and I truly mean this, which are so badly needed in meeting today's serious social and environmental and economic challenges. Congratulations to all of you and to your families that have supported you in your journey to commencement. Today, you are graduating from a fine college, a very fine college, and you are well prepared for your next steps in pursuit of a successful career. You have the benefit of working with a dedicated and highly accomplished faculty, as well as many equally committed administrators and coaches and campus supporters. Some of you may be uneasy about the next steps, very understandable. They await you whether in graduate or professional education, in your first postgraduate job, or as a graduate student looking to increase your professional standing. Some are just looking for that great break to launch a career in performance or athletics, just like when you began college here or in your graduate education here. This can be a moment of great new beginnings, but also a moment of great anxiety. I want to assure you that you will succeed in your career paths precisely because at Wagner you developed certain habits of the mind and of the heart that are the same qualities that correlate with career and professional success. What made you successful these past four or five years in this place that will become your intellectual and social foundation in the workplace? Here is what so many of you have begun to learn on campus and what employers and graduate schools seek in their best colleagues and students. First, you had to manage, learn to manage your time efficiently, and in doing so, you developed a strong work ethic. I know your resumes. They are full, stuffed with academic, campus, and civic obligations. You learned how to manage those efficiently without becoming totally neurotic an accomplishment in its own right. For all of my time at Wagner, all my 22 years, I've watched Wagner students and alumni outwork, outthink, and outhustle all their competition, and you will too. Secondly, your liberal arts courses taught you to be open to learning new ideas, to be engaged with different cultures from different periods, different cultures from your own, different historical periods, competing value systems, to understand more about the scientific method and the dynamics of the natural world. You learn not just to acquire knowledge as a jumble of facts and theories to be recited, but you've begun to develop, and I mean begin, it's called commencement for a reason. You've begun to develop the skill of evaluating ideas and arguments and assess the quality and quantity of evidence supporting them. Most importantly, you've developed and begin to develop, I might add, effective communi communication skills in writing and in speaking and in listening, in active listening. The Wagner plan and its learning communities put you in cohort groups right from the beginning, and you began to develop teamwork and collaborative learning skills, which are absolutely central to almost every profession, from healthcare, the performing arts, business, education, and social services. Thirdly, the emphasis on experiential and civic learning at Wagner helped, begin, helped you to begin to learn basic field-based skills in solving real-time problems and an openness to linking, again, theory and practice. This sharpened your problem-solving skills. The emphasis here on diversity education at Wagner helps so many of you begin to explore, first of all, your own identities and then walk in the shoes of those different from yourselves and begin to learn how to work develop and succeed in inclusive communities and environments. 
that is central to success for you going forward. Your civic experiences have taught you how to learn from communities in which you served and how to develop and build civic prosperity and personal opportunity in their lives and in your own lives. These are the essential leadership skills where leadership is not defined as power and authority over others, but rather is that unique ability and confidence to bring diverse individuals with unique identities and attributes together across their differences, their qualities, in achieving extraordinary success. All of these experiences at Wagner have made you successful here. They form the foundation of success in your eventual profession and in your personal lives as well. They are your bedrock for success. You're well prepared, but I believe planning and preparation are engaged in a very dynamic choreography and dance with luck and serendipity. Chance plays a role in destiny. That one unique opportunity that springs itself on you, and maybe you see it and seize it, or maybe you miss it. I tend to believe that preparation and luck are more entangled with each other than some others believe. One of my all-time favorite quotes that I firmly have come to rely on comes from a very obscure baseball executive for the old Brooklyn Dodgers. His name was, and you'll never believe his name, you'll think it's a, a theatrical name, but this was his real name, Branch Rickey. The Brooklyn Dodgers, as a kid in the 1950s, was my passion as a young boy growing up in Flatbush. And my hero and their star was a guy named Jackie Robinson, the man who broke the apartheid system of Major League Baseball that prevented men of color from playing in the big leagues. Branch Rickey was the executive who fought hard to break the color line, and he recruited Jackie Robinson, an outstanding leader, a man who was able to stand up to the vile and bigotry that he had to stand up to to integrate baseball. He was a remarkable athlete at UCLA and in Pasadena, where our wonderful chair is from. He was a track star, a football star, an all-American football star before he became a baseball player. So when Ricky was asked a couple of years later when Robinson not only went on to break the color line, establish an incredible resilient leadership model, also become an outstanding athlete, the rookie of the year, and then eventually the most valuable player, he was asked, did you get lucky? You must have got lucky when you recruited Robinson. He was just the right guy for the job, the exact perfect man, the leader to integrate baseball, who possessed that courage to stand up to everything thrown at him. And Ricky shot this back, and this is the quote I want you to remember. He looked around and said, lucky, lucky, luck is the residue of design. Luck is the residue of design. What a beautiful quote that is, and let's take that apart a little bit. What this means is that you get to take advantage of luck or chance if you're a big opportunity, if you've prepared yourself first to recognize it, and secondly, if you've built the habits and knowledge and skills to succeed when it actually presents itself. Now, there has been part of my life, many, many times in my life, when this has become true for me. I would not be standing here. I know some of you believe that when I was born, the doctor handed me to my mother and I became a college president. <laughs> Doesn't quite work that way. If you drew a line from where I was, when you're sitting here at 21 or 22 or years old or so, to where I am now, it's not a straight line, or it's not even a jagged line, it's a scatter shot. So, <clears throat> I want you to know that in 1969, as one example of the dance between luck and design, in 1969, I was completing my master's degree at Indiana University, and I had been a star student at Fordham in economics. I loved economics because I wanted to take a subject that explained the world to me. It gave me a sense of how things were ordered so I could think about how to make a difference in the world. But I became, when I came to Indiana University in 1969, they largely were teaching economics as mathematics and quantitative skills. And I kept on asking questions, where is the policy implications of what we're studying? And they said, that doesn't happen in this department. Now, things have changed in economics, but this is 1969. So I had a few, uh, I had completed all of my requirements for the master's degree, and I decided I'm going to terminate with the master's. I'm going to go out in the world and figure out how to make a difference with the skill sets that I had. I wasn't going to pursue the PhD in economics. So I only had this one semester to go. I could take three 
uh, electives. And I went to the open registration. In 1969 at Indiana University, 32,000 students registered in three days in an open arena in high humidity. You had a 10 minute window to get there. If you didn't get there in that 10 minute window you were assigned, you went to the back of the line, which meant you got none of the courses you were interested in. So I was interested in taking some political science before I graduated, thinking I'll learn something about policy and policy making an impact. So I walked up to, I walked online, I got to my queue, I waited about 20 minutes to get to the front of the political science desk. By the way, this, this arena was so big, it had two nursing stations in case people fainted so they could be taken care of. You didn't have to, as bad as registration may have been any time of your time here, it wasn't that bad. It may have been problematic, but it wasn't that bad. So I got to the front of the line and I said, I'd like to take a course on the introduction to the American presidency, I'd like to take a course uh, on legislative politics in the U.S. Congress, and I'd like to take a course on in international politics. Now, you may have heard this once or twice in your time at Wagner, but I, I was not prepared for this. And I, what I heard back was closed, closed, closed. So I got a little antsy being a graduate student and being from New York, naturally, and I started to argue with the people behind the desk. Now, there were about 100 people behind me online wanting to get their courses, and you had to get these Fortran cards to bring to your class to say that you're actually in it. So all of a sudden, this woman who was sitting two levels behind the people in charge of this table was sitting there knitting away in a chair. Her hair was in a bun with one of those sticks through it. Her glasses were on the bridge of her nose. And she said, you shouldn't be taking those courses anyway. Those are undergraduate courses. You can take them for graduate credit. But you're, you need to be taking the introductory course that all PhD students take in getting, pursuing a PhD in political science. And I looked at her like she was crazy. I never had a political science course in my entire life. How was I supposed to compete with students from Amherst and Williams and all over the place and Michigan and so on and so forth who were stars at their undergraduate institutions, were on full fellowships, and I was going to walk into this class and try to perform. But I took the class. I took the risk. Not knowing exactly what this was about, it seemed my only logical path. She seemed to know what she was talking about. So I did it. I took the risk. I was intimidated at first in that seminar. Uh, I, I was quite uneasy. My, all my classmates had exuded an inordinate amount of confidence. They looked at me like I was from Mars. I knew I had to outwork them. I had to outthink them. I had to outperform them. I had to outread them. And I aced that course. And in acing that course, I found out that the woman who directed me to that course was the chairwoman of the political science department at Indiana University. So my non-feminist self at the time doubted her. It turned out her husband, equally famous person, Dr. Vincent Ostrom, was the instructor in the graduate seminar. They offered me as a result of that course a full fellowship and full path completely paid for to pursue my PhD in political science. Okay, 40 years later, I met Eleanor, uh, Dr. Eleanor Ostrom on a plane coming back from uh, Scandinavia. Eleanor Ostrom, as it turns out, who became my advisor, I published my first major ma manuscript with her, turned out to be, and still is, the only woman ever to receive the Nobel Prize for Economics and Political Economy in the history of the Nobel Prizes. We lost each other after graduation, but I soon met her, as I said, on this plane, and we reconnected her, and I told her, if it wasn't for that incident, that bit of luck, in the registration process in that incredibly dense, humid arena, I would have never ended up becoming a college president at a place I so deeply love. And she said to me, Richard, it wasn't luck. You had the right stuff. You just didn't know it. Well, as, as, she, as, it, as she set me on this course to become a college professor, and of course, all the rest is history. I ended up here with you today in this lovely place and had such a great career. So my point is this, and this is the, this is the point of it all. Luck is the residue of design. I was prepared as a good student with all the skills that you possess today. I wanted a challenge. I wanted to be involved in social change and make an impact on the world around me. A moment came. I didn't fully recognize all of its possibilities and implications. You won't either. But I took it, and my academic preparation and strong work ethic carried me through that risk, ultimately to succeed and be here with you today. 
My message is that you are prepared. You have the right stuff, and, I've acqui and you've acquired many more skills and good work habits than you realize today. You have the right stuff inside of you. There'll be many moments for you in your careers and your personal lives when luck will be the residue of design, and you will jump in, and who knows where it will take you. I want you to rely on your fundamental assets acquired at Wagner College. Take confidence from them. Be ready for what may appear to be luck, but it really boils down to your training, your courage, and in finding your true self. But just before I end, I think there's one small caveat to all of this that may be another is missing element in your personal success. I must account for the importance of those who believe in you uncritically, those people in your lives who will fight for you. For me, it was my dearest, my best friend, the love of my life since high school, Dr. Karen Garassi. She always, always... <laughs> she always believed in me. And those who give you that uncritical commitment, be it your parents, your friends, your siblings, your partner, or whoever, they are invaluable to you and keep them close. I once said to Karen, what if you had, had met me and you married one of those other fellows who seemed to be taken with you? As a working class kid from Brooklyn, we both came, both kids came from modest beginnings. And I said, you may have ended up marrying a police officer or a sanitation worker. And she looked at me with those eyes that always get my full attention and said, oh, Richard, Richard, if I married one of them, they would become a college president as well. <laughs> so you need the training. You need the little luck, but you need the soulmate as well. Congratulations to all of you. I just adore you. What a wonderful moment. Thank you so much. We can enjoy now your graduation moments in a few seconds. Good morning. We will now begin the conferral of the degrees. I want us to begin on a serious note to recognize someone who couldn't be with us today, who's graduating posthumously. Many of you, this is gonna be hard, many of you know this person. Tayamoni T. Johnson <clears throat> earned his undergraduate degree in business administration from Wagner College last May. He completed this past fall, he, com he competed this last fall as a fifth year member of the football team. T. Complete, no, was known for his energy and his passion on the field is fiercely competing in all 11 games this past season, and while balancing his athletic pursuits as a fifth-year student athlete on the field, he also committed to studying for his master's in accounting. Ty touched our lives in so many ways during his years at Wagner. We know his memory will live on through his young daughter, Lauren Sinai Johnson, who has teased pride and joy since her birth last year. I'd like to invite the Johnson family to come up and receive that degree.
Will the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Nursing Practice please rise? <clears throat> President Garassi, I have the honor to present for you, for investment, the candidates for the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree awarded by Wagner College. Dr. Patricia Tucker, Dean of the Evelyn L. Spiro School of Nursing, will assist with placing the hood on the shoulders of the recipients. the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Wagner College, and in accordance with the laws of the State of New York, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Nursing Practice, and thereby welcome you to the community of educated men and women who extend to you our hopes and wishes in your continued success. I now have the honor to present individually those just awarded their doctorates. Would the recipients of the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree please come forward? The audience is requested to wait until all doctoral degree recipients have received their diplomas before applauding. Diana Davidova. Lori DeSena. Patricia Donahue. <laughs> Brownson Irondi. Christina Clemaz Spina. Marianne O'Connor. Renata Zink. Marjorie Shane. Luva Reeves. Gwendolyn Hernandez. Inga Melnikova. Will the candidates for all master's degrees please rise? President Garassi, 
I have the honor to present to you for investment the candidates for a master's degree awarded by Wagner College. With the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Wagner College and in accordance with the laws of the State of New York, I hereby confer upon you the master's degree for which you are qualified and extend to you our hopes and wishes for your continued success. I now have the honor to present individually those just awarded their master's degrees. Would the degree recipients of the Masters of Arts come forward? The audience is requested to wait until all master's degree recipients have received their diplomas before applauding. Will the remaining degree recipients please be seated? Sometimes this takes longer to line up than it does to get the degree, so just be patient. Olivia Wynn. Christopher Tucker. Joseph Ravanda. Sean Lawson, Jr. Jonathan Goldenberg. Arlette Sepeda. William Buck. Desiree Braithwaite. Would the degree recipients of the Masters of Business Administration please come forward? Tanya D'Souza. Maria Delarata. Paul DeVita. Shem Filipek. Sean Gray. Fabia Maramoti. LaSalle McDonald. William McManaman. Tharika Munavira. Bennett Reed. Brian Rafano. <laughs> Wilna Paul. <laughs> Justin Osuji. <laughs> Gina Masaru. <laughs> Shannon Lully. Nicole Hopton. Yes. 
Vinja De Silva. Brianna Stevens. Morgan Stratton. Carly Brady. Marcus Thatcher. Thomas Walsh. Mariah Young. Nick Simansky. Jordan Anderson. Tony Ann Fischetti. Dayuta Markashevic. Madonna Amiri. Would the degree recipients for the Masters of Science please come forward? Paula Kolodinsky. Jordan Lefkowitz. Rini Matthew. Patrick McManaman. Madison McNichol. Anna Menza. Emily Miller. Gregory Friedman. Sydney Abijian. Amanda Barish. Crystal Kromaya. <laughs> Nicole Bianco. <laughs> Willie Boo. <laughs> Nicole Bell. <laughs> Brandon Hart. Lilia Belkina. Melanie Cordero. Julia Etlina. Giorgio Dano. Apu Dali. Trevor Daniels. Gina Giordano. Sabrina Boutros. Crystal Farina. Alexandra Klieger. Alexander Zeles. Luke Zoko. Amanda Malloy. Stephanie Montemarano. 
Emily O'Regan. Jillian Moran. George Matola. James Napolitano. Mala Noshua. Kalina Nguyen. Crystal Ogle. Isabella Ocon. Virginia Tillerosi. Christina Oliveri. Christopher Sorrentino. Jeremy Nowakowski. Elijah Davis. Alexandra Vallez. Ahmed Azazi. Ahu Ebi. Sveta Romani. Megan Di Benedetto. Cassandra Diosera. Benjamin Rispoli. Kirchie Rubenstein. Lance Sages. John Dempsey. Dominique Di Matteo. Joseph Scala. Alexis Dispensa. Gabriella Dutza. Nicole Farku. Cameron Smith. Caitlin Flaherty. Natalia Sroga. Francesca Frasca. Pamela Grillo. Juliana Hoff. Jake Johnson. Christina Shearer. Jamie Singer. Olivia Josephson. Jacqueline Trotter. Tina Williams. Jessica Wilm. Catherine Yard. Quadia Gustus. Would the degree recipients of the Master of Science in Education please come forward?
Iman Metwale. Haley Mala. Kathleen Palladino. Stephanie Piscopia. Rashawn Pleasance. Melanie Raphael. Aisha Sheikh. Christina Uccio. Eleni Vallas. Anthony Guido. Michael Fischetti. Stephanie Angeli. Salvatore Mascalino. Stephen Baldo. Christine Shouldis. Emma Sinat. Taylor Grupico. Paige Grupico. Catherine Criscolo. Erica Anninson. Patricia Duffy. Catherine Grichi. Wendy Jiang. Please honor all of the master's degree awardees with your applause. Will the candidates for bachelor's degrees please rise? With the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Wagner College and in accordance with the laws of New York State, I hereby confer upon you the bachelor's degree for which you have qualified and thereby welcome you to the community of educated men and women and extend to you our hopes and wishes for your continued success. I now have the honor to present individually those just awarded their undergraduate degrees. Would the recipients of the Bachelor of Arts degree come forward? The audience is requested to wait until all bachelor degree recipients have received their diplomas before applauding. Will the remaining degree recipients please be seated? Ashley Pike. Jane Marie Paris. Karen Prihoda Suma. Davis Prince. Michaela Pritchett. Willa Pruitt, magna cum laude. Samantha Quinn, cum laude. Vanessa Rabiel. Monica Rivera. Rebecca Rosenbaum Cabeza, cum laude. Lydia Rumowitz. Solange. 
Salman Salim. Jenna Santoro, magna cum laude. Robert Schleimer. Matthew Sefsik, cum laude. Lauren Sellers, cum laude. Lauren Serato, magna cum laude. Ashley Schiefman. Daniel Scott Smith. Harry St. Cloud. Jordan Pagan. Victoria Steiner. Darren Sussman. <laughs> Mahina Reina Tagliz, cum laude. <laughs> Roberto William Cruz. <laughs> Pascal Tego, summa cum laude. Erin <laughs> Damers, magna cum laude. Madison Darcy. Joseph DeSena. Megan Nasso. Jaquan Napier. Christy Donkin. John Drinkwater. Matthew Drinkwater. Alexis Eldridge, cum laude. Maggie Ely, cum laude. Kimberly Friedman, cum laude. Alexia Erdos, cum laude. Tatiana Sophia Erickson. Belinda Fida, magna cum laude. Robert Fischetti, magna cum laude. Mary Gadd, magna cum laude. Francisco Gallo, cum laude. Kellen Gohan, summa cum laude. Deja Gentile. Victoria Gitten, cum laude. Andrea Gustafsson. Jonah Hale. Erica Hardy. Cassandra Doggerty. Kelly Hedden, cum laude. Bailey Claffey, cum laude. Gabrielle Baker, summa cum laude. Angela Kakuza, cum laude. Albert Nelfrop, magna cum laude. Haley Heminger Martin. Tony Tinman, magna cum laude. Samantha Bin. Sarah Collier, magna cum laude. Alison Hathaway, magna cum laude. Zachary Norris, magna cum laude. Rasha Harizi. Caitlin Trout, cum laude. Zachary Blanchett, cum laude. 
Gabrielle Trimble. Danielle Hughes, cum laude. Riley Owens. John Norton. Madeline Joseph, magna cum laude. Jacqueline Kaminsky, summa cum laude. Antonella Ayacona. Stephanie Upstam, magna cum laude. Isabut Valverde. Jessica Carlucci. Nakayla Carter. Corilyn Clancy, cum laude. Emily Cobb. Hope Van Etten. Catherine Viscardi, cum laude. Jacob Vogel. Spencer Kaufman. Natalie Caton, cum laude. Catherine Wakeman, cum laude. Olivia Weiss, cum laude. Morgan Riddle Kim, cum laude. Jessica Lieberman. Dana Klusik, cum laude. William Weatherby, cum laude. Kira Lee. Danielle Lopez. Liam Abate, cum laude. Cameron Walt. Gary Lumpkin. Dominic Zmalike. Anna Elizabeth Mealy. Sierra Desiree Luna. Laura Marjoram. Summa cum laude. Catherine Mazzotto. Amanda Akaliza. Brett Miller. Corey Alberti. Gabrielle Amuso, magna cum laude. Michael Mukowski, magna cum laude. Michelle Morris, cum laude. Kevin Atwater, cum laude. Nicholas Asaro. Warren Asiwadam. John Badakliaka, summa cum laude. Henry Bill. Would the recipient of the Bachelor of Science degrees please come forward? Janine Abdeldayam. Marielle Acampora. Christina Acado. Juan Halanis. Jessica Aleta. Omar Alajiko. 
Elias Algenadi. Emily Amato. Noah Anastasatos. Alexandra Anzalone. Luther Upea. Emily Austin, summa cum laude. Victoria Babson, cum laude. Shannon Bailey, cum laude. Rory Baker, magna cum laude. Leslie Battery. Sandra Batista, cum laude. Rena Baines, cum laude. Samantha Bonello. Carissa Burbo, magna cum laude. Peyton Beck, magna cum laude. Alexandra Belisario. Brianna Betancourt. Benjamin Belfalco. Kobe Bishop. Michael Bonomo. Richard Bosco. Jeffrey Bost, cum laude. Nicole Bozis. Nicholas Bozis, all right. Alexander Brower. Matthew Brown. Morgan C. Brown. Chevelle Brown. Julianne Bruin, summa cum laude. Nicholas Buda, summa cum laude. Nora Burns. Christina Calabro. Vincent Caldero, cum laude. Gavin Callahan. Matthew Cicchini. Nicole Doherty. Kevin Doherty. Kayla Sienski. Angelica Salona. Megan Clark. Samantha Cologne, magna cum laude. Thomas Kofi. Daniel Clifford. Andrew Cordani, magna cum laude. Danielle Crespo. Bridget Criswell. Jacqueline Cunningham. Miranda Curto. Karina Cusimano, cum laude. Nicole Cusimano, cum laude. Teo Dedic. William Dale. Maria D'Amico. Kenya Hyman. Abby Irving. Regina Ismale, cum laude. Ennis Jabara. William Johnson. 
Alexandra Joseph. Jen, Brianna Genazaski. <laughs> Taylor Ayana Celle, cum laude. Claire Kiefer. <laughs> Ashley Kelly, summa cum laude. Kilka? Yes. Molly Kilka, cum laude. Ilya Nepelhout, summa cum laude. Allegria Knaus. Allison Krauser. Allison Krauser. Connor Davis. Marlene Delacruz. Marlene Delacruz. Alexa Krochinski. Amanda Demaranis. Linda Jean Delfini. Sienna Demes. Magna cum laude. Marissa Demare. Michelle DiPaolo. Nicole Di Pascale. Faria. 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 Kelly Faria. Faria. Josh Joseph Faboze, summa cum laude. Iman Uhlenberg. Iman Uhlenberg, magna cum laude. Nicholas Durst. Abigail Dawson. Alexandra Dimitrao. Dimitrao. Alexandra Dimitrao, magna cum laude. Lauren Fay, magna cum laude. Ferro. Alexandra Ferro, cum laude. Alexis Ferro, summa cum laude. Charmaine Flamand. Daniel Fibershev, magna cum laude. Patrick Ford, cum laude. Keaton Frere, cum laude. Kevin Fremgen, cum laude. Frisolone. Jenna Frizzalone. Ryan False. Jessica Gallo. Robert Gallo. Daryl Gamble. Ariana Gargano. Kelly Goran, magna cum laude. Genovese. Brittany Genovese, magna cum laude. Amanda Golden Russo. Amanda Golden Russo. Tristan Garcia Rojas. Tristan Garcia Rojas. Eliza Garcia. Eliza Garcia. Eliza Garcia, cum laude. Santoni Graham. Kevin Gray, summa cum laude. Oscar Sundberg, summa cum laude. Cheryl Lynn Manole, cum laude. Brooke Mason. Luke Massey, cum laude. Matthew Mathai. Matil? Kelsey Matil. Claire McCaffrey. 
Julian McLeod. Dorian McNemony, cum laude. Olivia Melillo. Epek Miminoska. Kathleen Levy, magna cum laude. Minatillo? Angela Minatillo, cum laude. Justin Murfield, magna cum laude. Erica Mitnick. Douglas Molnar. Andrew Mulholland. Janelle Mullen, summa cum laude. Ada Nadia. Jacqueline Otto. Devin O'Donnell. James Grady. Madison Groon. Megan Gunther, cum laude. Evan Hall. Trisha Hirano, cum laude. Bradley Hudick, magna cum laude. Maria Humphreys, magna cum laude. Anissa Jelosevich. Christian Gator, summa cum laude. Laura Kaivik, summa cum laude. Jared Lane. Anatoly Lashkal, cum laude. Gina Lasosa. Alisa Lederhose. Tonian Lamarata. Ilana Levich. Thompson Lee. Blake Lank, cum laude. Philippe Lerabos. Eric Legda. Devin Lagans. Sarah Limani. Yan Lin. Calliope Livanus, magna cum laude. Sarah Lockwood. Nicole Lafredo, magna cum laude. Joseph Lombardi, cum laude. Alexander Luladakis, cum laude. Sterling Lowry. Sylvia Lubeck. Roldy Lucien. Alisa Greco. Michael Ochiogrosso. Anna Dobles. Anna Dobles. Jan Kucherik. James Wise. Tyler Sanfilippo. Alexandra Sanchez. Dale Sandy, summa cum laude. Catherine Scarfo, cum laude. Christina San Giorgi. Ursula, 
Ursula Porker. Anne Marie Schiff. Salazar? Julissa Salazar, cum laude. Alyssa Sago. Salerno? Vincent Salerno, cum laude. Nicholas Ruggiero. Joseph Rodriguez. Myrna Shihata, cum laude. Piro? Yes. Lauren Piro. Oriel Rafalevov. Caitlin Sarcone? Yes. Caitlin Sarcone, cum laude. Taylor Samarina? Taylor Samarina, magna cum laude. Andrew Skinner. Connor Starr. Nicoletta Stefano. Taylor Swanberg. Grant Luger. Jan Lukasiewicz. Angelica Pakowski. Victoria Stroud. Michaela Paduk. Summa cum laude. Stephanie Pagan, magna cum laude. Marissa Patella, summa cum laude. Anthony Pakora, cum laude. Alexander Panisi. Alison Pichel. Justine Stow. Julia Piscopo, summa cum laude. Lutif Possessa. Eric Poland. Acacia Raffle. Arlinda Reyes. Arlinda Reyes, cum laude. Genesis Rivas. Genesis Rivas, magna cum laude. Papa Papadakos. Maria Papadakos. Carbajal, right. Chelsea Carbajal. Liana Ribado. Richard Spinoza, summa cum laude. Lonnie Rivera. Erman Tale, summa cum laude. De'Aaron Wilson. Christopher Woodard, magna cum laude. Melina Woods. Jonathan Young. Angela Zagami, cum laude. Leanne Zotnia, cum laude. Manuela Zulaga. Alison Zupa, cum laude. Michael Tavares. Kayla Teal. Kayla Teal, magna cum laude. Sonul Thaka, summa cum laude. Lance Thillet. Cheryl Tobia, magna cum laude. Dominic Tomasulu. 
Toscanini. Robert Toscanini, cum laude. Jessica Trieste. Connor Trollo. Christopher Tropiano, cum laude. Kivana Tucker. Isaac Valerio. Rebecca Vaughan, cum laude. Lindsay Von Elm. Ilana Vosk, cum laude. Mary Walsh, cum laude. Matthew Whalen. Adriana Warning. Sean Westcott, summa cum laude. Elise Whistler, summa cum laude. Please honor all the bachelor's degree awardees with your applause. President Garassi, I have the honor to present to you Ms. Carolina Silva, class of 2018, president of the National Alumni Board, who will induct the class of 2019 into the fellowship of Wagner College alumni. Dr. Garassi, I think your Game of Thrones threat worked. <laughs> so will the graduates of class of 2019 please stand? Stand up. Move your tassels to the left of your mortar board, signifying that you are hereby forevermore alumni of Wagner College. Congratulations. You are now alumni. Before we conclude the ceremony, let's thank three special groups that were and continue to be very important in achieving your dreams. First of all, let's all salute the Wagner College faculty who are sitting on both sides, please. Let's celebrate and honor the work of our trustees who played so much support in your education. Congratulations. And finally, finally, turn around and congratulate and celebrate with your parents and families who... So, we will now bring Rabbi Unger for the benediction, and then we will hear the alma mater and we will march out together. The parade will start with us marching through you. We congregate under that other awning in front of the Sport, Spiro Sports Center. And as you leave as graduates, you march through the faculty who want to congratulate you one more time. So Rabbi Unger, please. We learn in Psalms, nations will be glad and sing for joy. Today we have celebrated and sung we offer special blessing to Dr. Karen and Dr. Richard Garassi, who have seen so many of us through so much. This has been an earned festival because we have come to this point. Our coming together today is founded on a bedrock of meaning and achievement. This moment is forever with us as we were joined together in song and celebration. And now we take our gladness and music into the world beyond, awaiting, needing our call, go forth, Amen. Amen.
Right here? When it's over. Here we go with the alma mater. 